Welcome to Chat and Dish. I found the most marvelous little trick. I can't wait to share it with you. Green onions, don't throw away the root end. Just put them in a little bit of water. They grow at least a half inch a day. You'll always have green onions on hand. Oh, I've got a marvelous sandwich that even your most adamant meat eater is going to absolutely adore. It's a zucchini fritter with a spicy slaw sandwich. For our zucchini fritters, let's start off with one bunch of green onions. We're going to finely slice these. Add your onions to two grated zucchini that you've drained in a tea towel. Next, it's two beaten eggs. Add the eggs to the zucchini. Half a cup of grated Parmesan. Now, about a quarter cup of gourmet pickled peppers. I'm using Uncle Gary's. They're fabulous. Pepper, salt, about a half a cup of self-rising flour. Combine these well. All right, now it's time to fry them up. Heat about a quarter inch of vegetable oil in a frying pan and ladle in your fritters. For our condiments, let's start off with a half a cup of ranch dressing and a tablespoon of chili sauce. Pour your chili sauce and dressing on top of grated cabbage. I've got one quarter of a head of fresh cabbage that I both finely grated and medium grated. We're mixing in the dressing now. Okay, stuff a little bit of the cabbage mixture into the bottom of a pita pocket or on the bottom of a hoagie roll, your choice. Now add one of your zucchini fritters. Top with more cabbage and you are ready to eat. Mmm, yum. Zucchini fritters are marvelous for their flexibility. We used Parmesan today, but you can certainly use feta or any other of your family's favorite cheeses. And pair up a couple of fritters with an ice cream salad and you've got a marvelous weeknight dinner. Okay, we're going international with our cuisine today. First up, Christina from Penne Cooking Corner, all about Filipino food. She is fabulous. She teaches about the recipes, how we make them. Oh my goodness, but to start off with, I tried the Filipino egg rolls. They are the best I've ever had. Definitely stop by Christina, Penne Cooking Corner. Next up, we're off to Allie's Kitchen to chat with Allie while we check out her garden vegetable vodka cream pasta sauce that actually won her and her husband a trip to Tuscany, Italy. Talk about an amazing dish. You simply must take a look at it. Oh, it's marvelous. Her entire blog is well worth an hour or two to peruse through, but definitely you're going to want to make this winning pasta dish. As always, thank you for visiting. Until next time, I'm going to miss you.